Hi everyone, and welcome to the Gold Foil Logo mock-up tutorial. Learn how to create these striking and photorealistic logo mock-ups in Adobe Photoshop. I'm Jonathan Lamb from Envato Tuts Plus, and in this video, we'll take you through step-by-step -step on how to create these Gold Foil Logo mock-ups, guiding you through how to create the perspective, how to apply the Gold Foil effect, and how to import logos from Envato Elements. So before we begin, make sure to check out Envato Elements. With one subscription, you'll have unlimited access to assets such as the one we'll be showcasing in this video. Millions of creative digital assets with simple commercial licensing, and you can cancel at any time. Subscribe now with the link in the description below. So let's start by going over what assets we need to complete the tutorial. You'll find links to all the assets you need in the description below. First, we need a paper texture. Next, we'll need a perspective image. And then we'll need to use a logo for our mock-up. You can use your own logo design, or if you want to follow along, we'll be using this vintage style badge and logo pack from Envato Elements. Back in Photoshop, let's go ahead and make sure that we've imported both the perspective image and our background paper image into one project. And you'll see how we've got the perspective layer on top of our background layer. From there, let's go ahead and create a rectangle by using the rectangle tool here. And we're just going to click on our canvas and create a rectangle which is 1,099 pixels wide by 799 pixels high. Click OK. And then from here, we're going to match this rectangle with our perspective rectangle. To do this, we need to go to Layer and first convert this into a Smart Object. So from here, we want to go to Smart Objects and convert to Smart Object. And then we want to go to Edit, and then we want to choose Transform, and then choose Scale. Now here, we can use the Control key on the keyboard. Holding that down, we can click and drag the corners of our rectangle to match it up with the rectangle in the background. So just going to each of the corners and just as accurately as you can, matching up, matching them up like so. And then once you're done, click on the tick box on the top here. Excellent. Now, once we've done with that, we can go ahead and hide the perspective image. And with the rectangle layer selected, let's go ahead and double click on the smart object thumbnail to hop inside our smart object. Now, when you edit a smart object like this, the source content is opened in a new window of Photoshop. Here, you can make any changes that you like. And once you're satisfied, all you need to do is save the file and the Photoshop Smart Object will be updated when you return to your original document. From here, we're going to paste in our logo and we're just going to make some adjustments to this so that it fits inside our rectangle here. So we can either use the mouse to click and drag like that, or we can go up to the toolbar here and put in some values which we want for our logo. So let's go ahead and put in a value of, let's say, 600, just so that it fits like that, maybe a little bit smaller, and then make sure that it's centered inside our rectangle, like so. Once you've done that, make sure to hide the blue color of our rectangle, and then go to File, Save, and then once it's saved, when we hop back into our document, you'll see that our smart object has successfully been updated to show our logo. Excellent. 
Now we need to add the gold foil effect. So let's go ahead and select our smart object here and we can rename this. And then we want to duplicate this smart object a few times. So first let's take this fill all the way down to zero. And then we want to go to layer, go to new and select new layer via copy. Once we've done that, we want to go ahead and rename this effect one. And let's go ahead and duplicate this a few more times. So the shortcut for this is control J. So press control J until we have three of these. So effect two and effect three. Select all three of these and let's group them together. And let's name this group effects. And place this logo layer on top. Now, anytime we want to replace our logo, all we need to do is double click on this logo smart layer and change it. Awesome. Now let's start by adding some layer styles to the first effect layer. So let's go inside our group here and select effect one. And let's right click on effect one and select blending options to open up the layer style panel. Then we want to select inner shadow and straight away you'll see how that is affecting our image here. So once we've done that, let's change a few more settings. So in the blend mode, let's change this to color dodge, which is over here. And we want to change the color from black to white and the opacity set at 80%. Now for the angle, we want to set this at minus 135. And the distance here, we want set to one and the size we want set to seven. Now we want to add a new color overlay effect. So select color overlay. And from here, we want to change the blend mode from normal to color dodge. And we want to change the color here. So the color here is going to be set to 967A2F, like so. Then once you've done that, click OK. And we're going to set the opacity here to 20%. Excellent. Now let's add a new gradient overlay. So select gradient overlay here. And we want to set the blend mode here from soft light to linear light, which is down here. And we want to set the opacity to 35 and over here, we're going to set a gradient. So click on the gradient bar. And over here, we want to change some of these settings here. So the first color stop, we're going to set the color stop all the way to the left. And then just click on the color stop here to change the color. And we're going to change this color to three, four, three, four, three, four and then click OK. Now for the second color stop, we want to set this location to about 45%. So you can input the numerical value here to 45%. And we also want to change this color to the same. So let's change this to three, four, three, four, three, four, like so. Click OK. And now we want to change the opacities of these. So for, for the first color stop, let's select this and select the color stop at the top. Let's change this opacity to 75%. And then for the next opacity color stop, let's bring this to a location of 45% like that. And let's change this opacity to zero like so. Now from here, let's change the angle to 115 and then click OK.
Now, before we sort out the other effect layers, let's rearrange these a little bit. So the first effect layer must be at the top, followed by the second one, and then followed by the third one. Let's select the second effect layer, right click on that, and then go to blending options to bring up the layer styles panel. And now we're going to create the gold mockup. So let's go to the gradient overlay, click on that, and we're going to set the blend mode here to overlay. And then we're going to set the opacity to 75%. Now, once we've done that, let's set the angle here to 45. And we're going to click on the gradient bar here. And we're going to set the color for our gold. So let's select our first color stop. And let's change the color of our first color stop. So this is going to be B, D, B, 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 6. Click OK once you've done that. Make sure it's at location of a 0%. Then for our second color stop, let's bring this color stop to a location of 18% and change this color to F, 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 F. F, so it's pure white, click OK. And now we're just going to click below the gradient bar here to create a third color stop at a location of 33%. And with this one, we're going to change this color to 85816F, click OK. And now we're going to create a fourth color stop and bring this location to 46%. And this color is going to be pure white again. Click OK. And now for a fifth color stop, let's click down here below. And this fifth one is going to be a location of 54%. And the color for this one is going to be 716D54. Click OK. And for the sixth color stop, we want another white. And let's bring this location to 66% and change this color to pure white again. And finally, for our seventh color stop, we want to bring this location to around 82%. And the color for this is going to be set to 65625A. Click OK. And from here, we want to make sure that our opacity is set to 100. So let's bring the opacity for both of these all the way to 100. Like that. And then click OK. Next, we want to add a drop shadow effect. So select drop shadow. And for the blend mode, we want to set this to screen with a color of pure white and an opacity of 50% and an angle of 90. Set the distance to one and the size to three pixels. Now just click OK to close the layer style panel. Now we want to add some layer styles to effect three. So click on the effect three layer, right click on it, go to blending options. And then we want to add a gradient overlay to this. So click on gradient overlay and choose a blend mode called difference. And we want to change the opacity of this to 85%. Click on reverse and let's choose a angle here of a minus 175. And we want to choose a style of linear. Click on the gradient bar here. And now let's go ahead and change the gradient colors. So for the first color stop again, let's click on that. Make sure it's at a location of zero. And we want to change the color to E9, 
e7, d9, click OK. For the second color stop, we want a location of 20%, and we want to change the color here to FFF DF0. Click OK. And now we want to create a third color stop at a location of 61%. And the color for this one is going to be 8E 8366. Click OK for that. And for a fourth color stop, we want a location of 67%. And the color for this one is going to be 9E9475. Click OK. And for the fifth color stop, the location for this one is at 78%. And the color for this is going to be CEC7. B2, click OK. And finally, for the sixth color stop, the location will be at 95%. And the last color is going to be 69604C. Click OK. And again, just make sure the top opacities are set at 100%. So click on each of these. Set these at 100%. And you can see straight away in our preview window here how this is affecting our image. Awesome. Now let's add a drop shadow effect. So go to drop shadow. And over here, we're going to change the blend mode here to a linear burn. So let's go ahead and find linear burn, which is up here. And then change the color to black. And the opacity for this will be at 100% with an angle of minus 90. The distance is set at 1 pixels and the size is set at 3. Excellent. Now go ahead and click OK. And your gold logo mockup is done. So that's it for this video. Feel free to include your own logos and paper textures for this gold logo mock-up. If you liked this video and would like to see more, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to be notified of any new and inspiring videos. If you're looking to learn even more, check out some of our other tutorials in the channel. So have fun and I'll see you next time on Tuts Plus.